Meadows uh, down into the turn. It's Lee Maddox there of uh, Great Britain that leads uh, down the back straight. Car number 39, he is in second place. That's Paul Bowman. The rest of the field uh, mix it up then as uh, they make their moves. Kevin Hassan going by car number 77. Car number 46 is the third place car, Miguel Gorms. Some American style race action here at uh, Foxhall tonight. Oh, and right over now on the back straight, Gary Ellis is in the Foxhall Uncut. He bounces back out again in car number 95 as he damaged the car at all. Uh, tough on race cars, done some uh, bodywork damage, but I don't think the car now he's got some damage there. Something has broken at the rear end. Sparks are flying, and Gary Ellis is out of heat number two. 99 is the race leader as they come back across the line. Goes up into the turn, Lee Maddox leads the way. Car number 39, Paul Bowman in second place. Car number 46, Miguel Gomes is in third. So Miguel going up much better in this race. Good race going on for fourth over back. we got Kevin Hazel on the inside in car number 77. And they're coming around the outside. We travel to Jos Janssen. One of the uh, mean uh, black cars there, the Raptor Racing Team. So, Hanson uh, really going well. Have we moved up ahead? Oh, uh, but Hassel now only chases after the leading trio. On the back straight, still remaining in the uh, same order. It's still the 99 car out front, Lee Maddox. Across the line he goes, the 39 car in second place, Paul Bowman. Six car in the third place, Miguel Gomes. Back in fourth place, the triple two car, puff of smoke uh, from the rear of the uh, Jos Janssen car there. Jos Janssen from Belgium, holding off Kevin Hassel back there in fourth place in car number 77. In the sixth spot, it's car number 66, Vincent Lee Hook in the uh, orange and white car. Vincent uh, comes from France, uh, one of the uh, two French drivers out there on track this evening. Jean Fassard is the other French driver, the series leader. He's back in eighth place at the moment in car number seven and appears to be going well. Car number 73, a win bourbon. Win going well also, he's in seventh for place at the moment. 99 car continues to lead, but car's getting closer there. Especially keep an eye on the uh, triple two car there of uh, Jos Janssen coming around the outside. Jos makes his move on the 46 car down the back straight. He's got the speed and a nice pass there. Up into third place. Back in, just uh, twitching with all that power, but uh, the European late model drivers saying that, uh, yeah, Fox is OK. They're enjoying the racing. Those are the reports we're hearing after heat race number one. 99 goes through the turn. 39, that's still holding second place. Paul Bowman, that travel two car, no, makes his run. Jos Janssen round the outside. Making his run up into third place now. Now, certainly the man to watch. He is the biggest mover in the field at the moment. He goes for the outside line. Side by side with a 39 car. Stick at the moment, he tries again, edges ahead as they go down into turn number three. The treble two car goes second place. Moving up into third is Kevin Hassel in car number 77. Moving up into fourth place in car number 66, Vincent Lee Hook. Going around the outside is uh, Wynn, who uh, we saw have a good win in uh, heat race number one earlier. Car number 39 on the inside of Higgins gets a little bit sideways. The 48 car is also making ground now. That's Shane Berryton there, who uh, didn't finish the first race. No race leader. The treble two car. Picks off the 99 machine. Kevin Castle's having to go also on the outside line now. Seems to be getting comfortable with the outside. Treble two leads the way. Josh Manson. Great drive from him through the field. 77, Kevin Hassel now challenging the 99 car of Lee Maddox. Over onto the far side they go. Both cars 
just twitch in a little bit there. Car number 66, Vincent Lee Hood coming around the outside. Another driver going well as the cars cross the line. It will be five to go next time. trouble down there at the end of the straight we've had a big incident there one car has gone into the fence looks like Xavier van der Misch possibly there that's uh, gone and smacked the Arco very very hard down at turn number one doing a lot of damage to that car they're checking to see if the uh, driver is uh, okay now the officials on the raceway so under the uh, wave the yellow flag out he looks uh, to be uh, okay and uh, the problem is uh, if they're going to need to uh, move that car Something we want to see more of? 
Uh, I personally love the short circuits. Um, it's just something that's. It's just that. It's just that. Yeah, I mean, you know, as we as we discussed earlier with Gary, you know, there are those that said they'll never work. They're too big. Um, they're going to be too much of a handful around Hensford and, and Foxhall. Um, answer for those critics. Uh, I think the race is answered it for itself, really. Uh, I think it's brilliant around here, but I think they'll be good at Hensford as well. Yeah, I think um, you know we're all looking forward to, to the next.